So, good afternoon. We'll get this started. For those of you that don't know, I'm uh, the new mayor, Lori Elder Burnett, and I want to welcome you to our first Overton County Hometown Heroes banner dedication. Hopefully a few of you guys have been able to walk around the courthouse square and see, you guys hear me okay, and see some of the banners that are already uh, placed. I, th I think that we got a total of 30 this year just by trying to get 32, about getting uh, word out. Some of them came out of books, but I'm going to let someone else talk about that in just a few minutes. We're here today to honor our veterans from Overton County who gave their all for us and our freedom. I think it's very appropriate that this is the day before the election, too, just to, you know, remind us that we have the freedom to go vote and make choices in this country because of their sacrifice. In the audience, we have family members of those who were killed in action with memories of their loved ones so that we will never forget. I want to say a special thanks to all of those families and the families of any veteran that we have in the audience because I can't imagine what sacrifice that you've made and what you go through. In addition to recognition of those who gave their ultimate sacrifice today, I want to thank all the veterans for your sacrifice and your service. We applaud you today. I'd like to give them a hand. Just to help us celebrate this uh, service today, on the back row here, we have our honor guard, which consists of, of our veterans of Overton County. The new banners displayed around the courthouse were made possible by the collaboration of several citizens in our community. They were passionate about recognizing the veterans everywhere, but especially from our community. Following our prayer and pr Pledge of Allegiance, the chairman of this committee, my husband Don Burnett, who had this vision before I ever started running for mayor, he's going to speak a little bit more about this program. Before we do the prayer, I also want to recognize um, two other elected officials in the audience, Stephen Barlow, our county executive, and Ed Butler, our representative and Ed will say a few words um, following Don's presentation. If everybody would stand with us, we'll go to the Lord in prayer. In memory of the fallen service members, Heavenly Father, want to thank you for each and everything that you have done for us and, and all the men who have sacrificed for us, Lord Father, that the all that they have given and was willing to do so, so that we would have the freedoms that we have here today. I ask you to grant reassuring peace beneath the coverage of your presence to all the men and women who gave their life in our defense for our country and the freedom of this world. I ask you, Lord Father, to keep their families ever so closely to you, Lord Father, and, and let their memories live on from those that they done so much for. Father, thank you for the, uh, the hearts of all those that are here. And we pray for peace among the families, Lord Father, that give them comfort, peace, and understanding. service members, Lord Father, that is uh, uh, home and abroad, Lord, keep them safe under your wings and bring them home safe. We just ask you this in your heavenly sweet name. Amen. At this time, uh, I sent myself a text message so I wouldn't mess up his rank. 
Second Class Petty Officer Spickman will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge hometown heroes honorees. I want to start by giving you a little bit of history of how the project got started, where it's at today, and where we see it at in the future. I'll start with letting you know that with my job, I travel the southeast, and as I do my job, I was going through small towns, and I would see these banners hanging from the light poles, the, the uh, lamp poles, light poles, whatever they had in that city. And that started to sink into me, and I thought, you know, we need to do that same thing for our heroes of Overton County and Livingston, Tennessee. So I come back one, from one meeting, and I approached Mayor Hayes, and I told him what my vision was for these banners, and he immediately bought into the, the program. And while I was sitting there, he called the Chamber of Commerce, Downtown Revitalization, the VFW and the American Legion and set up a meeting. After we had our first meeting, we brought Roxanne Sidwell in from the Department of Veteran Services. And from there, we were meeting monthly. And actually, after Lori was elected, she started meeting with us so that we made sure this program moved forward through the transition from Mayor Hayes to currently have 138 names on the, the memorial over here. Today we're going to honor the first 32. As you can see, we have a long way to go, but without any doubt in my mind, we will get there. But uh, with your help, by the time we make our next dedication next May, we will have doubled the number or maybe even more. We need your help to grow the program. If you have a family member, a friend, or know of anyone from Overton County that was killed in action in any war, we would appreciate your help in gathering information and photos for that honoree. We will have forms available. I'll show you one of those. These forms are available at the Chamber of Commerce, the Department of Veterans Services, and American Bank and Trust, okay? So if you pick one of those up, if you have some information, fill that out, and you can return these to the same location, Chamber of Commerce, Department of Veterans Services, and any AB&T branch. Donations to the program can be made at those same locations. The Overton County Hometown Heroes banners are designed to be placed, displayed on Memorial Day and Veteran Day, Veterans Day of each year. They will be displayed on the decorative lamppost around the square and adjacent streets within the city. If you notice at the top of each banner, you will see a website. That website is myhometownheroes.net. You can actually do, if you pull that up on your phone, you can actually do a walking tour around the square, down the side streets, and you can visit each banner. And in time, Shannon has been very good about getting some of this done already, but in time, you will be able to pull up information about each honoree, a little bit of history about them. Please take, if you can pull up any of that information to add to the website, website to make this whole, please take that information to Shannon at the Chamber of Commerce. We will also have a window clean. This will go to all of the businesses 
in town that have donated to the program, if you scan that QR code, it's going to take you to the website as well. So you'll be able to scan that, come over here, walk right up to the first banner, read a little bit about that individual, go to the next banner, read about that individual. To wrap up, I would like to thank the members of the committee that helped make this possible. Mayor Hayes, who took the initial request and ran with it. Mayor Burnett, who has kept it going. Shannon Cantrell, Oakland County Chamber of Commerce. Jean Gant, Downtown Revitalization Committee. Roxanne Sidwell, Office of Veteran Services. I gotta stop there for a minute. Without Roxanne, we wouldn't be anywhere near where we're at right now. She has been a huge help. Okay. Teresa Jones, VFW. Norm Osborne, American Legion. Ken Werner, American Legion. I do want to say special thanks to just a couple people, and then I'll be quiet. I went to American Bank and Trust to open up an account to deal with all this. And Amanda Strode, right there, she asked, how can we help? She has dedicated her time. She has helped keep our books, and we want to appreciate We want to thank you for that. We appreciate your help. And the other one is Darren Oliver at Oak County News. When Darren heard of the program, Darren called me, and he said, how can we help? What can I run to try to get more pictures, more information? So he was proactive in reaching out. And most of all, I want to thank the banks, the businesses, and the individuals who made the donations to make this possible. Thank you. Thank you all for showing up today. And I want to thank you, Don, for having a vision to honor the men and women that are on these banners. I think it's mostly men. As a Navy veteran myself, having done burials at sea and been on honor guards myself, sometimes it's not the family member that made the ultimate sacrifice, it's the family that's lost a loved one that we oftentimes forget. We sometimes forget that that family member never came home from the battlefield. And we forget sometimes that the mom and the dad, the brother and the sister that don't have that loved one sometimes get forgotten. And so today, not only do we want to honor the honorees that are on these poles, but let's honor the families that have lost those loved ones that never have the opportunity to give that hug again or to remember what it sounds like to hear their voice. And so for that, I'm very grateful that somebody like Dawn would see the vision and that we have a community that came together, because he mentioned several folks, that said, what can I do to help? I'm grateful to have people in the community that come together to say, what can I do to help? What can I do to help honor these individuals, but also to honor their families? I think it's a great thing that we've got a community that will come together to do that. And so with that, I'll close. Thank you for being here. And Don, thank you for following through on your vision. Thank you. I have one more thing to say. Senator Yeager uh, could not be here today because he had another commitment, but he also wanted to thank everyone here for their service and their sacrifice to this country. Does anyone else on the committee have anything? Did we leave anything out that needs to be said or done about getting some more information or banners? Okay, with that being said, we will conclude this program and thank you for coming.